hope I'm not creating this tutorial a little bit too late, but there's always next year. But in this video, I wanna talk about creating a Christmas holiday winter talent right here inside of After Effects. And it's gonna be a really quick tutorial because this process is very easy. And I wanna show you some really cool techniques in this video to really help tell your story when you're doing this type of work. So hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing awesome today. You know what we're creating, so we're gonna jump into the tutorial and we're gonna get started. First, you need a scene like this in Adobe Illustrator. So how do you get a vector scene like this? Well, you can download our project files for free if you wanna get a hint on this one. I will link to this one directly. This is a free download for freepix.com. But one resource I love using is Envato Elements, which has thousands of elements on this website, not just with vector graphics, whatever you're looking for specifically, but also royalty-free music for your videos, many After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, stock video, and just so much more stock elements on this subscription website. And with our link below, you'll get 70% off on your first month if you sign up through that link to Envato Elements. So after you download our project file or one of your own, we need to talk about what to do with this. So we're here in Adobe Illustrator, very easy to do this. What we're gonna do is come here to the layers icon and you'll see that there's two layers here. Just go ahead and turn them on and off to see what is what. And what we want to do is take what we want to animate in After Effects and put it in its own layer. So we'll come down here and create several new layers. So what we'll do is open up our main layer here called objects. We'll go in the group and we'll start kind of turning on and off and see where things are at. So I'll open up this layer and continue to go down and we'll see that there's clouds and there's the sun. What I want to do is take this layer and move it into one of the new layers that we just created and that sun will be in its own layer we can rename it then i can go even further and see what clouds are in its own group and go ahead and move it into its own layers as well so i can animate these individually inside of after effects and this is where you want to now go and figure out what you want to animate specifically and anything that you want to animate put it into its own layer right here in adobe illustrator so this tree is going to go here at the top and for example, if there's anything I don't want, like the snow here, I can go ahead and find that layer and just delete it So because I'll go ahead and create snow inside of After Effects. But before we go to After Effects, I want to be able to create this slide animation that you see here uh, to reveal onto our scene. And we got to set this up in Illustrator. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Window and click on Artboards. Okay, and one thing that we can do is that there is this Artboard icon right here. What we can do is double click on it and change the width and height to 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select everything, hold down Control and Shift on our keyboard, and we'll go ahead and make this into you know, a 16 by 9 comp. And we can bring down any elements here and rearrange it as we see fit. What I'm going to do here is go back to our Layers panel and create another layer. And I'll just call this Awesome. Then what I'm going to do is select everything here, and I'm going to copy it. Make sure the Duplicate layer is selected here. Go to Edit, Paste in Place. Then I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Reflect, and make sure it's selected the vertical and click OK. So now what I'm going to do here is just move this over to the edge. Then what we'll do is grab the Artboard tool right here, and we'll grab the left side of this Artboard and move it all the way to the right here. Beautiful. That's all we wanted to do, just like that. And now what we want to do is with our duplicated elements is come in here and select things that we do not want to have twice. So like the tree doesn't need to be here. The sun doesn't need to be here. And if you want, you can copy and duplicate buildings and move these around if you want. But for the sake of what we're doing, this won't be necessary. So when you're happy with everything, go to file, save as, and save this as an illustrator file. Okay, so that means now we're ready for After Effects. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our illustrator file that we just saved, import it into the project window right here in After Effects. And it'll ask you, how do you wanna import it? Make sure it's selected as composition, click okay. All right, then create a new composition. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080. And what we're gonna do is bring that imported comp into our main timeline here. And we're gonna hit P on keyboard for position and we're gonna move our composition over to the right because this is where the final side of our comp was gonna be. And we'll add a keyframe for position, move that keyframe forward in time, maybe by a second and a half. And we'll go ahead and move the X position over to the other side of our artboard or our you know vector objects here. And what's gonna happen here, boom, now we're gonna have this nice sliding animation. But let's go ahead and make this last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Go to the graph editor and we'll see this handle right here and we'll go ahead and just Bring it all the way over as much as you can. So now we have a very nice and subtle pan. You can turn on motion blur if you like. All right, so we're already hitting things strong, but we want to talk about individual animation here. So what we're going to do is go into our composition here, double click it, and we can just focus in on the area where we'll be doing our animation. So we can grab our sun and all of our 
you know, cloud layers. Come here to the beginning of our timeline, hit P on keyboard for position, add a keyframe for those, move forward in time, maybe eight seconds or so, however long you need this to be, and just do some, you know, very simple X and Y positioning of your animation. You can do anything you want it to do. You know, we can have our sun obviously come, you know, down and up, and we can bring our sun layer and put it underneath the appropriate layers here. So it's behind the mountain there, and it'll go up like that. So just go ahead and do whatever type of animation that you want to your scene with those basic layers. And then we have our tree here. What I like to do is just do some individual animation here. We can grab the puppet pin tool, double click on our layer here. And what we'll do is we'll add a point to the top here. And this can be with any object. So be creative about how you use this. And we'll pin all of our points here to the bottom. Okay, that's good enough. And we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up all the keyframes. And we'll find that top pin here. What we're gonna do is kind of move it over to the left. And we'll move forward in time maybe by a second and move this over to the right. And we'll all click the stopwatch down here. And we're going to type in loop out. Capital O just like that. Open parenthesis uh, quotations. Ping pong quotations and close parenthesis. Make sure your expression looks just like that. And you can make both of these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now we have our nice overall animation to our scene. And it literally took about a minute's worth of time to get the majority of the animation in here. And that looks very nice. But there's still two techniques I want to talk about. Since we're working with vector objects, it's really easy to change color. So for example, we can manipulate the lights in the scene. What we can do is kind of locate the layer that the lights are in like that. We want to change this color. We'll just go to effect color correction and we can do something called change to color. We'll grab that eyedropper tool, grab the color that we want to change from. And then we'll select the same color again. Come here, begin our timeline, add a keyframe from the two here. And we'll move forward in time, maybe by a second or so and we can really change the color to any color we want and you see that color will change then what we'll do is hit U on keyboard bring up the keyframes all click the stopwatch and we type in loop out again do the same exact expression just like that beautiful so now our lights will be changing colors a little cool technique that you can implement when working with vector objects like we are here i love it all right and of course the last thing i would like to do is create some snow into the scene because this is a wintery type scene uh, really easy to do this as well. So we'll make sure we'll do this in our big composition here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. So we'll come here and grab the ellipse tool and we're going to draw a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard. And what we can do is come here to the line tab and center this in the middle of our composition. Then what we're going to do is grab this layer and pre-compose it by going to layer pre-compose. You can call it snow and click OK. We'll go into that composition and we'll come here to composition, click on composition settings and we'll go ahead and just tighten down this comp to maybe about 200 by 200. Perfect. And we can scale up our circle that we created, you know, make it a little bit bigger like that. Okay, awesome. Go back into our original composition and we'll turn it off. And now we'll go to layer new solid. You call it particles. Make sure it is comp size and click OK. Then we'll go to effect simulation and grab CC particle world. So let's come here to the producer and let's increase the radius X to like four. So it's right across our entire composition like this you see all the particles there and then let's come here to position y and let's bring up this you know the emitter above our composition so everything will fall down now let's come here to particle versus particle type set this to a textured square all right open the texture and go to texture layer set that to the snow composition with a circle and now we'll have our circle here we can change our birth and death color to white here Let's come here to the sizes. Let's set both these to 0.1, the death and the birth size, set it to one. We can set our max opacity to 100%, awesome. Let's come here to the, to the birth rate at the, here at the top, set it to 33. We can also come here to longevity and really increase this, you know, to 14 or anything crazy like that. And now we got some snow in here and that's totally fine. But let's come here to the physics. Let's set the animation type to twirly, velocity 0.2. Set our gravity to 0.1 and our resistance to 4.5. And then just go ahead and move this layer forward in time, your particle layer, and you can decrease the birth rate if there's too many or not enough particles. So now you should have a really cool scene with all these, you know, wintery type techniques that you can implement into your own vector scenes right here in After Effects from Illustrator. 
And if we want to take this composition to the next level really quick, we can add some quick accent graphics from our motion graphics starter pack right here inside of After Effects. So this is our After Effects template that has 650 templates in it, ranging from accent graphics to title animations, shape transitions, animated backgrounds, and more. But we can quickly add a quick accent graphic cluster to this, and let me show you how this will help enhance the quality of our work. And now we have some quick accent graphics in here to help bring more detail to our scene, which we can go into that composition and we can easily change colors with our control layer. And now everything updates inside of our main composition. And if you need to add a title animation template to your scene, we have those title animations in here as well. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, I will link our pack below. If you do pick up anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So that is our tutorial on creating this winter town vector animation right here inside of After Effects. And as you can see, it should be very easy to do and you have a lot of different design options out there if you pick up vector graphics today from Envato Elements, which is linked below. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creative.